all the rituals that the sages have devised in all of them thinking is ingrained in every action if one mixes action with emotions then mind and action will be one if these two things are assimilated together they will have miraculous results through this both our mind and body will become one and our sadhana process of refinement of self will also become alive every ritual has a teaching behind it may all those teachings keep resonating in your heart run through your mind flow in the streams of your thoughts and deep contemplation only then will there be a harmony of thoughts and action and your refinement pandit shri ram sharma acharya ji book name connect the mind with god pustak ka naam man ko bhagwan ke sath jodiye various methods of worship and rituals have been devised in the indian culture are these just a series of action or do they have some particular purpose the rituals are tools or the means by which one can connect one's mind with god and accompanied by spiritual practice one can attain realization of the self gayatri mantra worship is a scientific method in the process of self purification gayatri worship is divided into five stages of self purification pavitri karnam or purification of mind achman or purification of the three bodies shikha bandhan or aligning the antenna of mind towards nobility pranayam or cleaning up one cell of vices and imbibing good thoughts nyas or committing one senses for good use one of the objectives of these activities is that we purify our five koshas five elements and five pranas few questions that the book answers what is the way to control your mind when does god bless us which direction should we align our thoughts should we constantly try to remove our evil thoughts and bad qualities what can we do for the good of others answering all these questions and more in the present book the author says that action should be accompanied by thinking and then only the environment will be purified if the primary purpose of worshiping god is not fulfilled then the steps have no meaning few excerpts from the book the first task of gayatri worship is to purify the mind before bowing in the feet of god our life activities should be pious and pure our thoughts should be pure if we truly understand the purpose of purity then our worship will also be successful by cleaning our mind body and tongue we will get the blessings of god and get the strength and power of god amend oneself is much more important than worship hymns rituals we are all children of god god has made us capable by providing us many types of faculties like the human body health intelligence education family livelihood friends to live and sustain ourselves in the world god has provided a subtle call of wisdom within our soul but we reject that call every step of the way and take the wrong path go after unwanted cravings and entangle ourselves in the web of desires we must introspect within and identify our faults improve our thoughts habits and actions few points from the book put the mind in action why does the mind run away consciousness and subconsciousness should match how to make sadhana alive first priority refinement of life greatest yoga practice connect your mind with god follow the command of the lord and walk on the right path